All right, Tyler, you had kind of a premonition of what this show was going to turn into. Uh, Tyler was the one who suggested earlier the day that we plan on going live after the concert because he was like, I just have a feeling Kendrick is going to make this uh, <laughs> like a real moment for everybody. Did it, did it live up to what you were thinking it was going to be and hoping it was going to be, Tyler? Oh, it fucking exceeded it. Listen, when that motherfucker let that A minor part breathe the first time. <laughs> oh, my God. And he just kept letting it breathe. <laughs> and kept letting it breathe and kept it brought dog it got i just like couldn't believe it the longer he dragged that shit out like bro he was out, and, and you knew right there dog he was gonna smack drake around some more and they ran that bitch back like six times <laughs> oh that was that was drugs right yeah. there for me i ain't gonna lie because i looked at it i'm like ah, oh, nigga probably gonna do it two times cool because i watched the clips of travis scott dufine mm -hmm. 17 times at barclays which was kind of insane nigga did Fiend. I don't even like Fiend like that. The nigga did it 17 times and the kids almost fell <laughs> off the fucking top 300 railing. <laughs> so the fact that he did not like us seven times, I was like, okay. Oh, oh, you doing victory laps now. I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? And we got black hippie siding. I want to ask That's you, how did that emotion. feel? How did that feel? Because like me watching it, I'm like, they have over a decade in the game. And still got this game is nasty. It's filthy. Shit can go left. Kendrick has some issues over at Top Dog and left, and it's still all love. For me watching that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, especially with Ab with the health issues and shit like that, and they still showing love. Yeah, I, I thought that was beautiful. And, and for you, you talking about these niggas by first, like by name, like you, you know, you saw them as shorties. How did that feel for you seeing that? Real friends, real friends, no business. Like, real friends, like, despite the business side, you know what I'm saying? Rock got on mm -hmm. first. A lot of people probably forget mm -hmm. that. J-Rock got the first, J-Rock the first person to sign. Then he had the first single, and then I with think Weezy, Schoolboy that, had the first one that went crazy. Yeah. Lil Wayne. Yeah, with, 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 yeah, old, with old, Lil Wayne. 08 Lil Wayne, like peak right, Lil Wayne. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had Lil Wayne, and Kendrick was his hype man that whole year. Yeah. That whole year. Waited his turn. Ding Dot came out. Schoolboy was his hype man, and the crazy shit, right? Schoolboy did Q didn't even rap. Q op didn't Q rap. Q got the first platinum Q plaque in there, some on on, on top, top dog. I thought, I thought, uh, the joint he had with Ace, with Ace up, with Rocky, <laughs> habits and yeah, 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 yeah. The hands on the hands yeah, on the yeah, wheel. Yeah. But Q didn't rap. Kendrick fired him. <laughs> he was the hype man. He told him like, "Hey, bro, you gotta get up out my studio, bro. You too good to be yeah, my hype man. You better that's go make an album. Friend shit. That's real friend shit too." That's beautiful. Because he was content. He was content. He didn't even rap. If you go back to listen to Bet I Got Some Weed, all that setbacks, Janae Eichel used to be there. Mm -hmm. them, bro, like, they were all in there making great music. And I got some weed. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Rest in Peace to Lori Joe. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you think about all that shit, everybody helped everybody. They didn't turn their backs on each other. They promoted like he said, he was like he did a, he did an interview with Yachty. He like I could have burnt Dot out. I could have used him every feature every mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. when Dot was on. He was like, nah, I'm like you know I'm gonna get it on my own, get it on my own. So I mean, I'm I'm proud of all them dudes. Honestly, like they they doing what they needed to do. You know what I'm saying? They all shining respectfully. They all got their own money. They all got their situation. They all happy. J Rock got an album coming out. Q just dropped the album, Blue Lives Joint. Kenny dropping next month. It's next you month. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's breaking news, but that's coming out soon. Um, and then Solo, ho. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, they all still doing their shit. Reason, shout out to Reason, too. You know what I mean? Reason, a free agent now. I don't know if he's going to go to Dreamville or whatever, but I'm still rooting for him, yeah. too. You got They got Rayvon. They got SZA. SZA doing yeah. numbers. Isaiah Rashad Isaiah doing Rashad, numbers. Crazy. Let's, let's, put some more let's put some more respect on top, dog. Top the new death row, bro. Like top don't never get mentioned with the cash monies. Top don't get mentioned with the uh all these labels that quote unquote did something. Top got talent, bro. For real, for real. And out the out out the garage, literally out the garage. Jackson, what's the chat looking like? She said eleven thousand. He said that shit going crazy. Eleven hundred, eleven hundred. I said okay. eleven thousand. The chat is yeah, live. Yeah, Chat's yeah, going crazy. Yeah. All right. What's how up, how, how chat? nervous would you have been taking that photo? <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I hope he got the right lens, nigga. Because if he had some close-up <laughs> shit and he ain't had that wide boy and he blew that photo, that blew, that photo felt like something that'll be in a, a rap museum 10 years from now. You know what I'm saying? Or I, I, post, I posted the photo on my Instagram. It looks okay. good. 
and they also got an aerial For shot. Sure. Um, so I'm sure somebody from Amazon knew what they needed to do. Um, hey, but you said, man, I'm, the, so, the, I, like the fact that they had to, as soon as Tommy the Clown made an appearance, like everything was going to be all right after that. You know what I mean? I like Tommy the Clown has never been in something. And then I, I left it like, damn, like, <laughs> like <laughs> well, I just told people from the timeline, because obviously I've been in New York for three years now and people are like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, go watch Rise if you don't know. I'm not giving any more context after this. If you didn't see Rise, if you don't know who tight eyes and all these other motherfucking crump dancers, like I, that, that's why I put out there. I said, yo, it's a lot of crump dancers that'll shoot your ass. You know what I'm saying? Painted faces, yeah, all. right? You know what I'm saying? Like that was you're gonna have battles, the saddest and, and the last vision ever on the on your yeah. way out of this world, and, bro. <laughs> and Battle Zone, he said it. Battle Zone, it happened in the form 22 years ago, 2002, where it was crump dancers literally in a sold out arena. Think about that, selling out an arena for crump dancing. That was you guys served on that's steroids. Crazy. Basically. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Like that's how Tommy had that shit on lock for the city. And then, like, you know, like, obviously the internet and things burn out and, and all that. So I respect Head for bringing them out. And then secondly, Dot, for allowing that to even just kind of go with the flow because it was very, a uh, very mm -hmm. culture show. Sure. Like, no, like I said, outside of game not being there, Snoop, maybe. Because, again, maybe Snoop was not AI on Taylor May. I'm not going to say nothing. Snoop is preparing but... for the Paris Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> I, I listen, I get it, but there's a lot of people that wasn't there yeah, on yeah, purpose. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? And business decisions, it is what it is. Um, but like overall, you know what I mean? The people that needed to be there was there. You know what? You know what I'm saying? And I hope I hope those those artists that perform gain yeah, new fans. Yeah. And he spoke to that too. He was like, all these niggas slap. You know what I'm saying? He kind of stamped all of them too, let them know, mm -hmm. yo. But what tripped me out too, there was a couple people that, that performed that really tripped me out. When Tyler came out and everybody lost their mind. I, we we are. Oh, that nigga we all go. remember when Tyler was a niche artist. You know what I'm saying? When like mm -hmm. motherfuckers was like, "That's some weirdo shit." And he goes to a commercial joint like this show on Amazon Prime, steps onto the stage, and everybody mm -hmm. loses their mind. I'm like, that's inspirational as fuck. Also, I didn't know Rod Roddy Rich got some hits, but I didn't know L. A. loved a nigga like that. Oh, Compton and Long Beach loved Roddy, Roddy Rich, bro. They love went Roddy, 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 hey. Roddy It went, hey. it really went up when Roddy, Roddy Rich it with yeah. high school kids when he was John, popping was as popular as any. He was as popular. John, as you gotta understand. The pandemic killed Roddy Rich. Okay. Buzz. Nobody else. Niggas still love Roddy Rich. It's just the pandemic happened and the nigga school, couldn't though. tour. He had yeah. a whole generation of kids that would have been the, with him as one and of he had that nip stamp too. That nip stamp too. You feel me? That went crazy. Listen. The new album is going to be crazy. That's saying that now. And it's, see, secondly. And, yeah, man, like, bro, it, 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 it's, it's going to happen, man. This is a West Side Summer. I've been claiming that. Go check my tweets. West Side Summer. Listen, everybody, every region, every every region get a chance to have a little moment. The West is here. It ain't going to be crazy. Don't get it twisted. We ain't saying we running shit. Just, just say it. Fuck it. Give us these little three. <laughs> can't three you, months. Can't you just took months. the head of the of the biggest rapper in the game. You, <laughs> but you, but you, but you, but you know what's crazy? Little, you know held what that shit up with blood dripping all over. I see. <laughs> and I seen, this all I seen B Dot. <laughs> like you could say it's LA I seen summer. B Dot Miller. Yeah. I seen B Dot Miller give him number one, and I was like, because he don't want it. He don't want it. He. He gave Kenny number but that's one. That's why. That's why he but deserves. That's thing, why it's good for a nigga that don't want it to be there, though. That's you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like he don't that. want it. He just was kind of like, you know how like the world under a trance. Mm -hmm. Y'all niggas love Drake. Cool. Uh, the same shit. Most Def was talking about like, ah, oh, y'all song, but like, is it talking about yeah, something? Yeah. That's the shit he was talking about. It was like, all right, niggas, a lot of hard niggas out here, bro. That's really dope. That's really like that. We've all had a difficult time buying tickets. Lakers games are expensive, but I try and find games to take my son Vinny to. It's hard to find good deals, especially at the last minute. You shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets to your next big event. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. The Lakers have a ton of home games the remainder of the year. I like that in the Game Time app, they have last minute tickets. You can see views from every seat. Game Time is the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. Their all in pricing shows your total upfront, so you know you're getting a great deal before you buy. They also have the Game Time guarantee, which means you'll always get the best price. 
Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code J and J for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code J A N D J for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. If you're ready for a night full of big fights and big action, it's UFC 303, and it can be even bigger. Jump in on all the action at DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of UFC. It's super easy for first-timers to get started. Try betting on something simple like picking a fighter to win. Go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app, select your fighter, and place your first bet. It's that simple. The light heavyweight title is on the line in the main event, but there are so many more amazing matchups happening in Vegas. And speaking of amazing, if you're new to DraftKings, listen up. New customers bet $5 to get $150 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code Jenkins. That's code Jenkins for new customers to get $150 in bonus bets when you bet just 5 bucks. Get that big fight feel only on DraftKings. DraftKings, the crown is yours. 